All right, so welcome back. Today in this video, we're gonna be looking at some more mechanics of materials, but we're gonna be focusing specifically on stresses and strains. So I went in depth on shear and moment diagrams in my last video, so if you have not seen that, make sure you uh, check those, those practice problems out. Um, but today we're gonna to be looking at stresses and strains. And so let's go ahead and dive right in. So number one says calculate the shear stress in kilonewton per meter squared in a material subject to a shear force of 800 newtons over an area of 0 0.03 meters squared. So what information are we given? We are given our shear force. We are also given our area. Okay. Over this material. So we got a force uh, that's happening on a, a specific area. So it would kind of be like this, right? Imagine that this is our area, this little random circular pellet on the ground and we got a force coming down on it <laughs> maybe for it to be easier to see it's just a different so we got this force coming down on that circular uh pellet material whatever and it's coming down at 800 newtons and they would just want us to find the the stress acting on that. And that's typically a force over an area. They want our answer to be in kilonewtons per meter squared. So I'm gonna look up shear force, shear stress maybe. We're, look, we're trying to find shear stress, so let's look up shear stress. All right, shear stress is denoted as that weird T says that here, but that formula, don't know if that's really gonna help me out. Don't know what this is searching for right now. Okay, shear stress. Shear stress is denoted again as T over G, we don't have shear modulus, right? G in this case is shear modulus and then shear strain. We're not given any of that information. So we wouldn't use that formula. Okay, shear stress. All right, shear stress. Polar moment of inertia. We're not given that information. Um, this is also not a Circular solid or shaft. All right, shear stress equals T over A. What is T? Shearing force. We're given shearing force and we're given A, which would be the area. Okay, so uh, let's look at this. So the formula that we need, trying to find, um, the information that we're trying to find is the shear stress. The formula that we need is going to be shear stress, just T is equal to big, sorry, is the weird T over the is equal to big T, which we'll just write them out separately over A because that's confusing. So T in this case is equal to our shearing force, which it says um, here. So shear force. 
which is equal to 800 newtons. Our A is equal to 0 0.03 meters squared. All right, so how do we get our shear stress? Well, we just plug and chug. Now we have all the variables that we need to get our unknown or the value that we're trying to find. 0 0.03 meters squared. And this is gonna give me 200 and, or 26,666.66 Newton per meter squared. Okay, what's wrong with this? Why does, if we get this for our answer, why does it not match, right? Well, they want us to calculate our answer in kilonewtons per meter squared. We have newtons per meter squared. So how do we get that in the right units? Well, we just need to do something simple as of how many kilonewtons in a newton. 1,000 newtons are in one kilonewton. That's what that means, right? That's then that equals 26.6 6 kilonewtons per meter squared, which is the units that we need it in, right? And so I'm getting A. Hey everybody, I know I didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning, so I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now I know this test is tough and as you're going through material you may be saying i don't remember learning this stuff or gosh these variables are so confusing or you just feel like you're really really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming so i did want to let you know that i do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks, and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks, and we went back to back, day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed, right? And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to, you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out. Want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine even 12 months and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam and that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income more impact and furthering your career so it's definitely costing you um, money resources everything so looking to create more success stories um, I am looking to work with individuals one-on-one -on -one. I want to hop on zoom with you I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so i can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind now for some of you you may have failed a test once twice had some people fail five times um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just want to make sure that you pass it up front so do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this, I got it all on my own, I know everything, or I, 
I'm going to take the time to study everything. I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one on one. And there's also some do it yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career. Um, and leave a comment if you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered. Um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to creating more success stories. So be sure to check out this next video.